Hey everyone, this is Doug Kenny from Relentless and Unstoppable. Today we have Vincenzo Sispiri from the GT Series and in Inter International in Italy. Hey man, how you doing? Very good, and yourself? Doing really good. So tell our followers a bit of what you're known for. Well, basically, as um, as uh, as you know, I've been in GT in Formula and GT for quite a while. Uh, my GT career stopped in 1999 when we finished with the Le Mans 24 Hours and the, the Ferrari 33 SP, which we won the World Championship in 1998 and 1999. And after that, we just uh, started the team. We started the team, as you know, in the formula uh, for, from 2001 until 2015 and from 2015 until now with GT. So now we're still running. This year we run uh, four, four different championships. So in the GT series. Pretty cool. What's GT stand for? Gran Turismo. Gran Touring Car. In Italy, it's GT means Gran Turismo. Pretty cool. So uh, what's the GT car build up like? Basically, the one we run, which is the GT3, is, uh, and also the Super Trofeo, they are, at the base of the car is like a road car. Uh, especially the Super Trofeo, which was what one make formula, is uh, exactly the same road car, uh, just modified a little bit for the racing series, but the base and everything has to be uh, legally, as an example, the road car you can buy, the Huracan, uh, the Huracan you can buy from the road. The GT3 car is a similar aspect because it has to be a base uh, car which you can sell to the client as well, but it's a little bit more modified. It's got to be more carbon in and it's got a little bit more stuff for a racing car, proper racing car. Great to hear. So you were in the IndyCar series too, right? Yeah, I was there when I stopped with Formula One in 97. Uh, uh, I was in, in, in Brazil for the Grand Prix. And the team stopped there. After that, I just came to, to do Indy. Actually, my first race was Indy 500, which this year I will come and have a look for the, for the second time. Yeah, this year I've been invited, so I'm free with, for my work. So I will come over to have a look at the Indy 500 this year. That's great, man. So uh, you also finished runner-up in an Indy car race the year you were in Indy car, right? Yes, we. I won the, the Rookie of the Year and the finished running up that year, yeah. It was quite great, uh, a great year. It was something different for me that I never did it before. It's a car which is amazing, it's uh, so fast on the straight. The difference between the Formula One and, and the Indy car is uh, basically the Formula One is uh, very fast from the first gear until the fourth gear. It's incredibly fast, you can get up to speed so quickly compared to the Indy. But the Indy car from like four, fifth, six is like keep pushing. Where the Formula One, you get a little bit more stable on speed with there of those gears. Pretty cool, man. So uh, you've also raced in Le Mans. What's that like? It's something special as a, as some normal uh, special track Indy five hundred, Le Mans twenty four hours, Spa twenty four hours, Formula One Monaco Grand Prix. There are, you know, some special, special event, which is uh, fantastic to be there. It, 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 it gives you the atmosphere and, and the feeling is, is difficult to explain because it's something very special. And then I wish all the drivers that they, they aim to be a racing driver in the future, they will have the opportunity to do, do this, uh, these tracks. That's great, man. So what struggles did you overcome to get to where you are? <laughs> Normally money. <laughs> money is always uh, the, the difficult part of uh, each uh, racing driver if you don't have a, a big backup behind you. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't have it. My father was a, a normal dad, a really special dad, which I lost him last year. Unfortunately, uh, he passed away last year with the COVID-19, unfortunately. And then, uh, but he backed me up all the time. He was, he was a chicken farmer. So he started as a chicken farmer his career. And then uh, he had a truck, uh, a, a truck agency to, to serve the, for the chicken and for the animal. And then that's, that's how he helped me. He helped me with go-kart first, and then uh, we helped each other as a mechanic. And then through there, he helped me a little bit with the, with the formula, which I went to England to do the Formula Ford in 1988. Uh, and then from there, gently, gently, I came up. Uh, I didn't have a lot of money, as I said, so I had to 
fight my way through through Formula One and through Indy and Champ Car and so on and so on. 